Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Flo and I make graphic design and digital art related videos. For today's video, I'm going to be starting a new graphic design challenge. And I mean, it doesn't have to be graphic design. It can also be an art challenge if you actually would like to join along with this, join along with me in this challenge. And essentially the challenge is something that I got inspired by randomly when I was kind of oddly enough having a creative vlog. Comment below if you've been having a creative vlog lately and need to get your design juices, your creative or your art juices going. Um, you can follow along with me on this challenge. And um, so essentially the challenge is going to be called the timeline challenge. So I was kind of inspired by the idea of drawing inspiration from historical eras. So, and then not only historical eras, but also the present and the future. So, but we are going to be starting all the way back to the prehistoric times to draw inspiration from that time. So that's going to be the first challenge, drawing inspiration from the prehistoric era and coming up with a cool concept. Now it can be a poster, it can be a video or anything else you can come up with. And of course, like I've already said, I'm inviting you to join along with me and up your design skills and your art skills and your creative skills overall. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be a fun challenge and fun to see what we could come up with because it's kind of cool to see, kind of zone into a different era and draw inspiration from it, from the elements of that time. Um, yeah, so if you would like to join, I would love that and I'd love to see what you guys come up with. If you do join, you can tag me at the designer flow on uh, my Instagram to s just so I can see what you guys come up with. And um, let's get this challenge started. So funny enough, when I was researching, I didn't even realize the proper terminology. I put in the first century, as you can see, and obviously that's not the first recorded civilization. I mean, if you're like a really a big history buff, then you might know that. Um, so yeah, I ended up like figuring out, oh, it's a prehistoric era, as you can see, like, um, which is what I was kind of looking for and looking to research as a the first recorded civilization. I'm just like blabbering, but yeah, I learned I learned some new things and I learned a lot of interesting things as well. And honestly, like the first like 15, 20 minutes of researching, I really started to get inspired. It kind of like, in a way, like I felt like it kind of started to shake up my creative block and it, it helped me to see things in a kind of different perspective, like contrasting the way things used to be versus how things are now. There's a, such a big contrast and just kind of tuning into a different era helped me to kind of, I guess, feel more inspired because it's like you're seeing a different perspective, a different way of living. And so, yeah, that really got me inspired. Comment below if you um, felt this way, if you're doing this challenge as well. Here are my brainstorming sketches. As you can see, the thing that kept popping up in my head was birth. Um, I guess like birth in the sense of like a new era, a new time, you know, something new starting. So that kept coming up. And uh, yeah, these are the sketches that I came up with. This challenge ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, I kind of had some ideas and I like sketch them out but <laughs> the end result is a lot more different as you will see I was experimenting a lot and like yeah I mean I thought I would just spend like maybe an hour and a half maybe two hours but I think I ended up spending like maybe three hours like just dabbling playing around stopping and starting with it because like you know it's something really different for me like taking inspiration from the prehistoric era you know I mean like essentially which is like the emphasis is on like, you know, a, a way of living that is obviously very different. There's emphasis on the way they live, which is like very, um, I don't know how to put the word, but, you know, not as like uh, obviously luxurious as we live at the moment, you know, like, you know, and there's emphasis on rocks and just like formation of new tools. It was like really the beginning of things so like trying to draw inspiration for that from that was quite different for me because I feel like the things that I usually take inspiration from is usually from the last maybe like at most like the last maybe 100 200 years if I was really to think about it in general maybe the last couple hundred years but it not so not so back to like you know 
a hundred thousand years ago you know what i mean or more than a hundred thousand years ago like most of my you know inspiration is quite com- contemporary compared to that so yeah it was definitely a challenge for me but um definitely something that i felt like uh yeah it excited me for sure i know maybe i'm going on and on but i honestly feel like so grateful like for everything i have and just like what all the accommodations we have now and the way of standards of living now is like just like amazing when when we look back to those you know those old days you know it was just like very hard very survival very like you know very different from the way we live now Um, but yeah let me get back to the actual design work so essentially what I did was as you can see I experimented a lot I played around on photoshop a lot I eventually played around with the the motion blur tools and not only the motion blur but also um, what do you call it the mixer brush so I played around with the mixer brush and just plucked colors and figured it out <laughs> also if you want a tutorial on mixer brushes just comment below or I'll also leave it in the description below if you're interested in mixer brushes because there's so many things you can do with mixer brushes you can pluck colors from not only gradients but you can also pluck colors as you can see from images photographs paintings anything you want so it's it's a really cool tool to use now for the inspiration uh, as you can see i was inspired by rock and stone formations because that was something that i kept reading about during my research it was a monumental thing rocks and stones were used to create tools sharp objects and so forth so it was a really big thing for that time and the colors especially those fun colorful kind of that kind of fun swoop that i made there that was essentially kind of inspired by i don't know like a kind of majestical vibe if that makes sense even the stars like a new era a new time and then you know the coloring choice for the background i felt like something that was kind of neutral nude natural looking made really sense for this concept all right folks that's it for today i hope you enjoyed that process video and that you tag along in this challenge and join me tag me at the designer flow if you do join this challenge and come up with something cool and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video i have many videos like this coming up and also tutorials coming up and some design resources ideation videos coming up a lot of good stuff coming up so make sure to subscribe have a great day